This one's kind of important. Um, I made an adapter. We're going to run the uh, late style NV35 internal slave, which requires us to use a quick disconnect to the, I want to say pre mid 90s. Um, Clutch Master, which requires a metric bubble. I want to say it's like an M12. So the only solution, viable solution, is kind of an expensive one, is McLeod makes a hydraulic adapter line with our GM Ford Chrysler Quick Disconnect to a AN style fitting. Problem is, you can buy a three inch section of uh, that adapter line, and it's like 70 or 80 bucks. You go to some racing jigs, whoever, Amazon, it's not cheap. So when you're all said and done, with the fittings you're buying, you're going to be spending around 100, 110 bucks. Well, I did a little sniffing. I went to the dealer uh, and I ordered a GM 191 This line it had a quick disconnect on this side, which basically had an O-ring. It, it installs into the clutch master and a roll pin retains it. Well. I don't approve of compression fittings, so I went with a quarter inch compression fitting to adapt our M10, M12 metric bubble to the GM quick disconnect. I'm going to take this to my job, and my old job I should say, and I'm going to have this all soldered up just to be on the safe side. I don't like compression fittings. I think they're just the most hack bullshit uh, you know, solution for any problem. It's fix the problem correctly, but in this situation, it's not brakes. And it's not a fuel line, so it's not going to catch me on fire, and I'm not going to have an issue with stopping. This is a clutch ordeal, so uh, I figure it might work for what I'm doing. So, real quick, I'm going to install this bad boy. Show you guys what we're talking about here. Take my monitor off. Screws in super sweet like that. I don't know if you can see it, you will hear a second female end of our. Actually, what I should have done first was. There she is. Nice tight connection. Adapting newer style quick disconnect slave to old style GM metric bubble. Love wrestling with fittings. There she is. All right. So I'm going to grab this thing. Again, bear with me. This camera is super sensitive in terms of handling. There's a lot of ambient noise. I'm not too keen on it. Alrighty. Bear with me here. Here we go. The braided line. You see our compression fit. Kind of tough to see. But she goes right underneath to the uh, master, which is kind of it's it's tricky. But the way I routed it, it's away from the exhaust. Loops up and around. Safe, simple, viable solution to adapting it. And the clutch line, that adapter line, fits a newer style Silverado 2500 HD with an NV4500. In that line, you have to get it directly from General Motors. And it is 42 bucks after tax. So, here's my little Saturday update. I hope this helps some of you guys. A lot of folks are going to have, well, a lot of folks have been looking for a viable solution for this. And now I've got one. So, all you guys up here in the north, northern part of the U.S., keep warm and uh, talk at you real soon.